Welcome to Anshamath Memorial Temple for our family service. Today is Yom Kippur. On this day, we join with Jews all around the world in thought and prayer. We think about the things that we did wrong, and we pray to God for the strength not to repeat those things. We begin our service with a prayer about words. Our rabbis knew that words can be very powerful, even more powerful than a sword. Words of praise can make us feel good about ourselves. Words can excite us. Words can make us feel better, and words can hurt us. Our word is sacred. If we make a promise, we are expected to keep it. Because words are so powerful, our rabbis chose to begin Yom Kippur with a prayer about our words and our promises. This is the reason they chose to begin with Kol Nidre. When we hear the stirring melody of Kol Nidre, we pray that we may have the strength to always keep our promises. We pray that we will always speak with kindness. We pray that we will always tell the truth. Please rise. best to keep every promise and to follow through on every resolution that we make during the year that has just begun, from this Yom Kippur to the next Yom Kippur. But if there are promises and resolutions that we truly cannot keep, no matter how hard we try, we pray that we may be forgiven. And we ask forgiveness, too, for those promises we could not keep in the year now ended. We join together with the Shechianu. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechianu V'Kiyamanu V'Higianu Lazman Hazeh Praise be the Eternal our God, ruling spirit of the universe, who has given us life, cared for us, 
and enabled us to celebrate this holy day. to the synagogue on other days, we are filled with joy and excitement. We usually say the Kiddush and drink grape juice. We hug each other and say Shabbat Shalom or Chag Sameach, or even enjoy a special meal together. But today is different. On Yom Kippur, we don't eat and drink and celebrate. Instead, we say Gamar Chatima Tova. May you be inscribed for good this year like taking a test or an exam, Jewish people around the world are studying themselves. And the questions we are asking are not easy ones. They're ones like, who did I hurt this year? How might I have acted a little better? How could I have tried a little harder? We rise now for the Bar Hu. Adonai, your love and teachings are never-ending. With your gift of Torah, we remember that you are here for us always. When we learn about our history and see the Torah marched before us, when we celebrate the holidays together with family and friends, we remember that you are here for us always. When we give tzedakah and help others through mitzvot, we remember that you are here for us always. When we say the Shema at night and when we see the sun shining in the morning, we remember that you are here for us always. Thank you, God, for your love and your gifts to us. Shema Yisrael Adonai Oh. 
Please be seated. During the holiest days of our year, we renew our promise to stand up for what is right. We will not stand with our feet frozen to the ground and our arms limp by our sides. We will not stay silent when our voice is needed. We will not hide. When people are sad, we will comfort them. When people are mean, we will stop them. When someone is hungry, we will feed them. When someone is cold, we will find them shelter. During the holiest days of our year, we renew our promise to stand up for what is right. We will not stand with our feet frozen to the ground and our arms limp by our sides. We will not stay silent when our voice is needed. We will not hide. We will not walk away. When people are sad, we will comfort them. When people are mean, we will stop them. When someone is hungry, we will feed them. When someone is cold, we will find them shelter. This is what it means to help people find freedom. Mi kamocha baeli madonai, mi kamocha ne darba kodesh, 
Shashi bechu geulim Leshim cha al sefat hayam Yachad kulam hodu Fehim lichu veameru Aronai imloch leolam Rise now for the Amida. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufia gite hilatecha. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufia gite hilatecha. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Ve'elohe avoteinu v'imoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Ve'elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vehanora. El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chasde Avod Veimahot, Umei Vig Ula Livne Venehem, Leman Shemo Be'ahava Zochreinu Lechaim Melech Hofetz Bachaim Bechotveinu Besefer Hachaim Kotveinu besefer, besefer hachayim. Lema'ancha Elohim chayim. Zochreinu lechayim, melech hofetz bachayim. Vechotveinu besefer hachayim. Kotveinu besefer, besefer hachayim, lemaancha Elohim chayim. Melech hozer, umoshia umagen, baruch ata Adonai. Magain Avraham Ve'ezrat Sarah Amen Your might, O God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good and not for evil. You are the source of life and blessing. Help us to choose life for ourselves and our children. You are the support of the falling. Help us to lift up the fallen. You are the author of freedom. Help us to set free the captives. You are our hope in death as in life. Help us to keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Your might, O God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good. Please be seated. 
ונתנה תוקף קדושת היום, כי הוא נורא ואיום. Oviom som kipur, oviom som kipur, yechatemon. Oviom som kipur, oviom som kipur, yechatemon. Berosh Hashana, yechatemon. Oviom som kipur. Yom Som Kippur, Yechatemon. Of Yom Som Kippur, of Yom Som Kippur, Yechatemon. Today, Adonai, you open the book of life so that we can read what is written on the pages. Today, you ask us to open our hearts and reflect on what we have said and done this past year. On Rosh Hashanah is written on Yom Kippur, it is sealed, but throughout the year the book of life is open, and the choices we make leave a mark on our world. And so we ask ourselves and each other, who will choose to live a good life? Whose hands will cause hurt and whose hands will help heal? Who will speak up and who will be silent? Who will be wise enough to learn from others? Who will be strong enough to make good choices? Who will be greedy and who will be grateful? Who will break down and who will build people up? Who will choose to be a blessing? Through return to the right path, through prayer and through righteous giving, we can earn a new page in the book of life and write a better story in the new year. We rise together for the Kedusha. Takatuv al yad neviecha Mekara ze el ze be'amar Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh Adonai tzevaot Melo kol haaretz Adir, Adirenu, Adonai, Adonenu, Ma Adir Shimcha, Bechol Haaret, Baruch Kebor Adonai, Mimkomo, Echad Hu Eloheinu, Hu Avinu, Hu Malkeinu, Hu Moshienu vehu yashmienu Berachamav le'enei kolchai Ani Adonai Eloheichem Yimloch Adonai le'olam Elohai yichzion Ledorvador, Alleluia. And we are gifts, and we are blessings, we are history in song, we are hope. We are healing, we are learning to be strong. We are words, and we are stories. We are pictures of 
the past. We are carriers of wisdom, not the first and not the last. The door of a door, Nagit God Lecha. The door of a door, we protect this chain from generation to generation. The door of a door, these lips will praise your name. Looking back on the journey that we carry in our hearts from the shadow of the mountain to the waters that would part we are blessed and we are holy we are children of your way and the words that bring us meaning we will have the strength to say the door of a door not be god lecha the door of a door we protect this chain from generation to generation the door of a door these lips will praise your name the door of a door the door of a door we protect this chain from generation to generation the door of a door these lips will praise your name Take a moment now for silent prayer to Philat Alev, the personal and private prayer of the heart, after which you may be seated.
We continue now with Seder Kriyata Torah, our service for reading the Torah. Beit Yaakov the Chuvan Acha Ba'or Adonai, O house of Jacob, come let us walk by the light of Adonai. Please rise. Ein Kamocha Elohim Adonai, Ein Kemasecha, Malechut Echa, Malechut Kol Olamim, Umem Shaltecha Bechol Dor Vador, Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Imloch, Le'olam Va'ed, Adonai Oz Le'amo Yitain, Adonai Yivarech Et Amo For out of Zion shall go forth the Torah and the word of Adonai from Jerusalem. Magnify God's greatness with me, and together let us exalt God's holy name. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adoneinu Kadosh venora shemo. Al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim, haolam omeid. Al shlosha devarim, haolam haolam omeid. Al ha Torah ve al ha Avoda ve al gemilut chasadim. Al ha Torah ve al ha Avoda ve al gemilut chasadim. It is an honor now to call up one of our teens, Lucy Nalepa, who will not only be our Aliyah but will also be our Baalat Kriya, our Torah reader. She'll be reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29. Amen. <laughs> Ki, let us share. 
את התורה אשר שם משה לפני בני ישראל על פי אדוני ביד משה Yehalu et Shem Adonai Kinyusgav Shemo Levado Let us praise the name of Adonai for God's name alone is exalted. Hodo al Eretz v'shamayim v'yarem keren le'amo tehila lechol chasidav livene Yisrael am kero. When Torah entered the world, freedom entered it. The whole Torah exists only to establish peace. Its highest teaching is love and kindness. What is hateful to you, do not do to any person. That is the whole Torah. All the rest is commentary. Go and learn it. beautiful book for you called Butterflies Under Our Hats, written by Sandy Eisenberg Sasso, and it's about a wonderfully fun town named Helm. Once there was a town called Helm, where there was no luck. If something could go wrong, it did. The roofs of the houses always leaked, the sidewalks were cracked. The gardens grew only weeds, and nothing was ever right. Some people said luck comes and goes, but in Helm's case, it never came, it only went. Others said there is no such thing as luck. The people of Helm were certain that luck was real, and somewhere they had lost it. They looked everywhere, in beds and in basements, in pant pockets and in pickle barrels, in water wells and wicker baskets. But as luck would have it, they never found it. We never have any luck, they sighed. And so they gave up. They stopped building houses, delayed repairing sidewalks, and quit planting gardens. Then one day, a strange and beautiful woman came to town. No one had ever seen her before. She wore a large purple hat, felt hat over her red hair and a long green dress that matched her eyes. 
she told the people of Helm that there was something better than luck. Better than luck? The people weren't sure they believed her, but they listened anyway. Having lost their luck, what else did they have to lose? Tomorrow at daybreak, the strange woman with the purple hat and green eyes informed the town, butterflies of hope are going to fly into the town square. If you can manage to cover the butterflies with your hats, you will have hope, and hope is better than luck. Some of the townspeople thought the woman was crazy. Nothing was better than luck, but others weren't so sure. The next morning, just as the sun began to rise, the people of Helm, who couldn't find any luck, went into the town square to look for hope. Just as the red-haired, green-eyed woman had said, clouds of colorful butterflies appeared. They landed on the ground. For a few moments, they just sat there. Their wings fluttered softly. The people were very quiet. They gently placed their hats over the butterflies. There were silk top hats and woolen caps, black berets and bonnets with bows. There were felt fedoras and high hats with pink polka dots. There were fancy fur hats and silly straw hats with feathers, all covering the town square. We have it, they all exclaimed. Now we have hope. But just as they said these words, it began to rain. The drizzle became a downpour, and suddenly the people needed their hats. One by one, they took their silk top hats and woolen caps, their black berets and bonnets with bows, their felt fedoras and high hats with pink polka dots, their fancy fur hats and their silly straw ones with feathers. One by one, the butterflies disappeared. And they watched as the last person lifted his hat and the very last butterfly flapped its wings and rose to the sky. Now not only don't we have any luck, they sighed, <sighs> we've lost hope as well. At that very moment, the red-haired, green-eyed woman appeared once again. Her large, brim, purple felt hat collected the raindrops and kept her hair dry. Look under your hats, she whispered. The people were puzzled. They had seen the butterflies vanish into the clouds. They were certain that there was nothing under their hats, nothing under their black berets and bonnets with bows. The butterflies were gone, and with them, their last hope. As quick as the rains had come, they stopped. The people lifted their hats, their fancy fur hats and the silly straw ones with the feathers, and looked inside. Just as they had thought, there were no butterflies. Look! They showed the mysterious woman nothing. There is nothing under our hats. Look again, she whispered, and then disappeared. The people looked under their hats, under their felt fedoras and high hats with polka dots, they couldn't believe it. The butterflies had gone, but they had left a trace of something, a fine, faint powder. They saw it, the trace of the vanished butterflies, and that was all they needed, hope. The people of Helm started building houses, repairing sidewalks, and planting gardens. Sometimes the roof still leaked and their sidewalks still cracked. But not always. Their gardens grew weeds, but also flowers. The people of Helm no longer looked for luck. They found something much better, and it was there all along, right under their hats. Hope. I love that story for Yom Kippur, because Yom Kippur, while it is a holiday where we think about all the things we did wrong, and feel sad about all the people we hurt, it's also a holiday about hope. Hope that next year we'll do better. Hope that next year we'll bring more kindness and love to the world. Hope that when we come back 
together next year, hopefully in person, we will be able to feel so much better about ourselves and the world around us. Today is a day of rebirth and hope, and I hope and pray that all of you enter this new year with joy and gladness. Our thanks this morning to Dave Schlossberg and Jason Flatt, who were on our piano and guitar, as well as a thank you to Noah and Misha uh, from Bloom Music for helping to put together the service. Thank you to everyone who helped make the High Holidays what they are this year. The cantor, I know, joins me in our deep appreciation for all who labor to make this day special and sacred. We conclude our service now. Uh, starting with the singing of Elenu on page 15 as we rise. Elenu le shabeach la don hakol la teit gedula liotzer breishit Shelo asanu ke goye haratzot, velo samanu ke mishpechot adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vegor aleinu ke chol hamonam. Vaanachnu koreim, umishtachavim umodim. Lifne melech, malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Let holiness move in us. Let us pay attention to its small but great voice. Let us see the sacred light of God in others and honor that light. We will strive to be holy. We will strive to repair the world given to us to hand on. Precious is the treasure of words and knowledge and deeds that move inside us. Holy is the hand that works for peace and for justice. Holy is the mouth that speaks for goodness. <laughs> Lemelech al kol haaretz Bayom hahu Iye Adonai echad Ushemo As we conclude our service, we sing now a song of hope, Hatikva. It is the anthem of the State of Israel, but is also a song for all Jewish people at all times to help us become stronger as we look toward the future. Gemar 
Chatima Tova, may you all be inscribed in the book of lives well lived. Amen.